Hello everyone and welcome to this place. As you know that we are discussing error detection and in today's error detection class I am going to discuss rules which are based on verbs. That means we will see that how verbs can create error and how should we detect and what are the related rules. So without delay let us start. So here is the first rule of today's class. See, I have written two sentences here. In this, one of them is the correct one and one of them is of course incorrect. We have to check that which one is correct and how the other one is incorrect. We'll consider both the sentences, the correct one as well as the incorrect because if you know what is the correction, you should also know that what is the incorrect part and how can the question, you know, come in the exam. So, the first sentence says, three killed and one were injured. Okay. Next one is, three were killed and one was injured. See, here I have used where were with one and in the next sentence i have done three were killed were and one was injured can you see the verbs here were and was now which one is the correct one the second sentence is the correct one and the first one is wrong see according to the rule when there are two subjects in a sentence and they are not in the same number as in our sentence here i'm talking here i'm talking about three and the second one is one so basically they are not same in number then we must you we must have to use separate auxiliaries for both of them as we have used in the second sentence I have used were because were is a plural verb and three of course it is a plural so I have to use were with three and one one means singular and I have used was with this so basically when there are th there are two such subjects uh, which are not in the same number then we must have to use separate auxiliaries for both of them now auxiliaries verbs I think you must know that what auxiliaries verbs are Verbs can be is, am, are, was, were, have and has and we have to use them according to the subject. Moving on to the next and the second example. Second one, here again I have written two sentences just because to compare that what can be the correct sentence and what can be the incorrect. So the first sentence says, I am 20 years old and my sister 14. On the same note, the second one says, I am 20 years old and my sister is 14. The difference lies here that I have used M, okay, here, but nothing with my sister. No verb is here. In the next sentence, I am 20 years old and my sister is 14. See, according to the rule, a single verb should be made to serve two subjects only when the form of verb is the same for both the subjects. Now what the rule actually means. See can you see the two subject here one is I and other one is my sister right. Now both the subjects cannot use the same verb because see I cannot use is with I and on the same way I cannot use M with my sister. So basically both the subjects are using different verb, different form of verb. So I have to use the two verbs that is they follow. That means I am 20 years old and my sister is a 14 is a correct sentence and the, this one is a wrong one. I am repeating the rule. The rule says a single verb should be made to serve two subjects 
only when the form of verb is the same for both the subjects okay moving to the next one third sentence is 30 students have passed one failed and the next sentence is 30 students have passed one has failed now in such type of sentences it is very obvious you know it is very easy to understand the difference and which one is the correct one see in these sentences this the second one i consider the correct one and this one as a wrong one why because according to the rule when there is only one auxiliary to two principal verbs it should be correctly associated with the both see here have have means this is an auxiliary verb but can you see that here i'm talking about plural subject and one is a singular subject i cannot use have with one so in such cases i have to use a separate auxiliary with 30 students have passed because 30 students means plural and one because one is singular i have to use has that is a singular verb so when there is only one auxiliary to two principal verbs that is see principal verb is passed here right now we are talking about the auxiliaries okay where which i have used here see in such cases it should be correctly associated with the both otherwise you have to use the separate auxiliaries for both the subjects the next sentence says he succeeded because he worked hard and the second one for the same uh, contrast is he succeeded because he works hard now here this this uh, rule actually is not just about verb but also for tenses as well see rule says a past tense in the main clause should be followed by a past tense in the subordinate clause see he succeeded is main and worked hard okay is a subordinate clause so if succeeded that is the second form of success that is a past tense so i have to use worked here not works here means a past tense in the main clause that is here should be followed by a past tense in the subordinate clause so i will say that this one is the correct and this one is the wrong one moving on to the next and the last rule see he never has and never will take such strong measures or i can say he never has taken and never will take such strong measures here rule is two auxiliaries can be used with one principal verb only when the form of the principal verb is appropriate to both the auxiliaries see now try to understand the rule here he never has and never will take means the principal verb is take here such strong measures now in the next sentence i have written he has never taken and never will take such strong measures see auxiliary verb here is has and here will see i have to use taken here because two auxiliaries can be used with one principal verb only when the form of principal verb is appropriate here here i can use take but i cannot use take here as right so the sentence the second one is the correct one and this one is a wrong one see this is a very simple one i cannot use take here and take here i have to use a separate form that is taken here so i have uh, the sentence he never has taken and never will take such strong measures will be the correct one so friends i hope you understand and you are 
getting these rules and practice more more and more so that you can you know you can get the command on error detection so for more videos keep watching keep learning